hope everybody having a good day. It's Saturday. Again, woke up feeling good. I hope y'all woke up feeling good as well. TFC fam, what's going on with y'all? How y'all doing? All right. Hope everybody feeling good this morning. Physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I hope everything is feeling good and tacked. Let's talk about what we have going on today. So I just want to just chill with y'all. I don't really have a specific video in mind. I just know we got a lot of things that are going on in the fish room that need to be done. Mainly because I've been really busy. I mean, busy is good. Busy means the money, you know. So, but um, just been so busy that there's been very little things that I've been able to do in the fish room. I haven't even really been able to come into the fish room and enjoy the pond. Um, but I have done little things. Um, I'll let you see what the Dovi looking like. I realized the last video that I posted of the Dovi when I moved Air One into the 125, some of you thought that that was an updated video on the Dovi. No, that was a previous video of the Dovi. I was behind in my videos and uh, I did an update video on me, you know, putting a divider in on the Dovi before I released a video of me removing the Air One and putting them into the 125. So um, he's still looking good, though. He's still looking good. Divider's still in the tank. Still got them separated. It's so funny. Like, they just literally sit, sometimes sit right next to each other on each side of the divider. Like, they're not trying to, like, fight each other or go at each other or anything. They're just, like, sitting right next to each other. So that's why, like I told you, like, they've been in the same tank together their whole life. They've always been in the tank together their whole life. And they've gone from a 125 Matter of fact, the Dovi transitioned from multiple tanks, so did the Buddy. But they all ended up, but they both ended up in the same tank, and they've been together in the same tank for about, I would say, three years. I would say about three years they've been in the same tank together. So that's a long time. And off and on, I have had to put the divider in the tank. I would say maybe, I probably put the divider in the tank maybe like four times, five times. And uh, I only have to keep it in there for a few weeks at a time and I can just take it right back out. So typically I wouldn't just have these two fish in the tank together at the same time, just one and one, because, you know, then they're just going to constantly fight each other. You know, some of you may know you've got to either overstock it, you put a bunch of decor in there, uh, you, um, or you just keep just the one fish. You know, it's, it's not that many options when you want to keep predator fish. So you never just have just a one and one the most aggressive one is definitely going to beat up the other one that's less aggressive. So make sure that you do it right. Anyway, they're both supposed to go into this pond right here. Um, that's the plan. So we'll see if that happens. Looking forward to that. I'm almost ready to put the buddy in here. Almost. Almost ready. Once I'm done doing everything that I want to do in here, that way I, I have everything set up. So when I move him in, he's moving into their home. Otherwise, if I put him in here, then I'm rearranging things, then he's going to start all of a sudden get dominant towards a space that he all of a sudden take over. You know what I mean? So I don't want that to happen. I want him to move into their territory and uh, have to adjust to, you know, whether or not they want to tolerate him. You know, they're not, they're not going to kill him or anything like that at all. No way, no how. But I just want to make sure that he stays on the, on the passive side as, as as passive as I could get them, because as you know, Buddy Coughfire are not passive. Anyway, enough of the 240. Let's talk about the 54 that's empty that I got to clean out over there. I will also go ahead and wipe down the glass real quick. I might reveal to you a couple of other new little fish that I just got the other day. I told you I did. I've been on a fence about them. One is, you know, the grade isn't that great. We need to get some. And matter of fact, I also want to let you know about my wish list. I got a fish wish list, meaning I'm going to get them, but they're fish that I don't have. Some I have never been able to find, not online, uh, and definitely not in any of my local fish stores. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video. You got to remind me because I might forget. But at the end of the video, we'll talk about that. And uh, I hope, I hope, fingers crossed, that some of you own some of these fish, some of the fry. That way, you know, I could I could buy them from you, you know, you could don't you I heard you want to do it. You could donate them and we do a little shout out. I don't know. I don't care. I'm willing to pay for them. You, you don't have to give me nothing. I want to buy them. So we'll talk about this wish list and we'll talk about the ones that I can find and the ones I can't find. If you own them, let's do some business. I want to buy them. But um, what else is going on? What else going on? So ready to move to what the fish over here and it's 150 into the 240. Can't wait to get those fish over there. The Erwana is doing good down there. These guys over here doing fine. 
Uh, we do got some things that I also want to do to the pond. We could also talk about that. Let's take a look at the pond. Uh, matter of fact, let's take a look at the pond and then we'll talk and we'll, let's talk about what needs to be done over here. So I was thinking that I want to add, instead of these flower pots, they might be good. Uh, I was either thinking of adding some milk crates, like I said before, but I might keep the flower pots right now. But maybe think about the fact that I'm seeing this feste right here. The flower pots look really good when you see the fish swimming in and out of them. Uh, but I also like the idea of having the milk crates. It's more versatile. I have some great ideas that I could do with milk crates. So I'm thinking that I'll set each one of these plants on a milk crate and I want to make the milk crate like the flower pot for the plants so on so the stacking of the milk crates on the second portion of, is going to be a very large flower pot but it's also going to be a milk crate and also could put like the uh, circulation pumps on them like I have them already attach the circulation pumps to the sides of the milk crates like I already have them attached to these flower pots so I think I would need two four six eight ten twelve fourteen milk crates I got to get 14 milk crates and then I'll let you know and then you'll see exactly what I have in mind. I don't want to disclose everything in the video. In this first video, I'd rather do it with you guys. So um, it's just as exciting. But best believe when the time comes, when we get those milk crates, there's going to be some really fun builds going on up inside of this pond. And then, like I said, that's when I plan on moving the buddy over. But these plants are growing like crazy. I am losing some of the water lettuce. The fish are definitely, they were eating the water lettuce. So I did move it out and then I had to bring it back. And now it's, I have it situated in a way to where the fish can't get to it. So I'll also let you see that. I think that was a really good idea for the time being. If it works, I'll think about something else. I have seen some netting that you could use. Uh, I don't think I really like that idea, but we'll see. But all in all, we also have these flower pots going arranged going around the pond. I have I want the way I want to situate this. I want to have I want to have water going to each one of these flower pots going around, and then I want to have it going right back into the pond. So they're not just aesthetically pleasing, but they're serving a purpose. I want to make sure that they're pulling the nitrates out of this pond along with all of the pond plants that I have inside of this big 800 gallon pond. So that's going to be really cool, really dope. I also plan on adding a waterfall right over there. Um, so let's take a look at all of that while I'm talking. So look at all these plants. Look how the plants are doing. You see all the new growth right there. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah. It's doing so good. So all the older, so the older leaves are just, you know, melting away or whatever, but that's totally fine because all the new ones are coming in big and healthy. Looks really good. This plant right here is doing absolutely amazing. Go watch when it start, watch when we connect, add, put little bulkheads, add some pipe, and we're going to connect them all. I know the first thing you're thinking about is the weight. I already thought about that. So I'll make sure to leave that as a question mark so you guys will want to stay tuned for that next one. And then down here, as you can see, more leaves growing in. Look at that. Looks really good. This one's growing really good. So I set this one down there. I got the peace lily sitting right there in the corner. Oscar back there, Feste being there. And then this is what I did with the water lettuce. So now they can't get it. They ate the lily all the way down. So I'll have to raise this one up and do something similar. That's why I said I want to get the egg crates. If I get the egg crates, then I don't have to worry about that. So, yep. That's the plan. Look at this new plant that I have. This one is really nice. So like I said, it's one thing for all these plants to look good and that's fine, but they need to serve a purpose like they would in the wild. So 
we're definitely going to have it situated where they're pulling out the nitrates. For sure. Do you know how I'm going to do that? Some of you may know already. Just like I set up that one over there. Just like that. All the way around. And like I said, the key is to make sure there's not a ton of weight being pushed down on this wood. And also making it to where it's easily removed in case of an emergency if the pond get punctured or something like that. But yeah, check out the fish. Look at the arowana. This is one happy fish for sure. I don't know who donated him, but uh, he looked like he had a little bit of a, a beating coming in with the, with his back being damaged. Probably got damage coming in when they were trying to catch him, but you know anybody could have bought him. But you know we got him on the fish corner now. We got him at the fish corner. We still haven't come up with a name for him, so drop some names down below. See what y'all what y'all have in mind. So I have them right now sitting in these big pots because I'm going to repot these plants. These things get pretty big, right? And we want to allow them to have space to grow. So I plan on buying some some uh, pond plant potting soil from uh, from Aquascape. I plan on getting some for this one. All, all damn near all of these got to get repotted. So I'll get like pots of this size. Matter of fact, I do have pots of this size already. This one right here, one, two, three, and we need just two more so i'll so i'll get two more that's nothing and then uh yeah so we'll repot them and these things are gonna grow tall we have about seven feet right here where they could grow seven feet this one looks like it's gonna stretch look at this this thing is already like like four and a half feet tall right here right here beautiful beautiful plant and then this one you know this one's gonna get big and they're gonna go into the pond outside oh i haven't shown you okay let's <laughs> check it out <laughs> check it out all right so can you uh imagine <laughs> yeah much bigger than we uh than we originally said, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we're thinking about a nice, you know, 15, 16,000 gallons right here. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what we're doing. And so this area right here, this is gonna be the deep end. I, I'm doing, I'm talking about maybe four, there we go. I'm thinking like maybe like four feet right here, four feet to a small section of five feet, and then the rest three, all that three. Yeah, above the ground. You know, you know who building that, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this thing cement. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Can't wait to bring this to the channel. It's gonna be super dope. Come on now. If you can't wait to see that build, if you can't wait to see what I'm going to do with it, hit that subscribe button. You want to make sure you catch this. It's going to be insane. All right, let's take a look at 
Let's take a look at what I was talking about. So I don't know if we're going to keep them. The one we can for sure, right there. Red Dovi. Yeah, his eye is messed up though. I don't, I don't really mind that. Whatever. Call this guy Cyclops. Um, <laughs> that's the name, I guess. If you think, if you think Cyclops was a good name for this, it's Red Dovi. I'll drop the name Cyclops down in the comment section. I think it's a good name for him. Matter of fact, where he go? Yeah, Cyclops right here. So we got Cyclops, and then we got this white one right here. But his face, I don't know. I had one. I had one that had the same problem with his face. Like, he had like a tumor on his cheek. And, uh,. I ended up having to euthanize him because he couldn't even eat anymore because it just got so big. So I hope that he that this situation is corrected instead of it getting worse. But um, I guess we'll see. We will see. Here's our red, the last of the red jewel cichlids that we had. Made it down to the fish room. But yeah, so what can we name? So what can we name this one? Maybe we should wait on naming it just in case. But yeah, so two albino dovi. I mean, so two red dovi. This one, it's a red dovi, but it's white. I've seen Imperial Tropicals have them for sale. So I might, uh, might order one from them. I want the cream sickle dovi though. Here's the red at a bapo pike. Boy getting big. Salvin, let me grab the rag so I can wipe this glass off real quick. But before I do, let me show you the dovi. Doing much better. Thought you were about to eat. There we go. See? Looking much better. Definitely eating. He's doing good. Just now he's, you know, just now he just has to heal up. Even his left eye, even his right eye is doing much better. His cheek has gone down tremendously. Looking good. And then Buddy is always doing good. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and wipe this down. So, hope y'all having, what y'all got going on today, matter of fact. Y'all taking, what tanks y'all cleaning? Salt, fresh, how many gallons? Any builds? Any upcoming builds? I don't know about you, but I'm always trying to come up with a new build because when we keep these fish in our care and they're not able to just grow up in the their natural environment you definitely want to keep growing with your with your pets or if you're lucky like you know if you already have the space to have like a big pond or something like that whether it's indoor or outdoor and the fish could live in there for life with all of the other fish in there for life then that's cool but i still feel like it's almost like myself in life I always, I don't care where I am in life, I always feel like I could do better. So I don't care what kind of aquarium I got, what kind of pond. After a while, oh, sh you looking at my legs, damn. There we go. So what I was saying was, um, the hell was I saying? What was I saying, y'all? 
Oh yeah, upgrading. So yeah, so I think it's important to always upgrade, you know? Upgrade your life, upgrade your aquariums. You know, if you got a car, upgrade your car because otherwise it gets old and then broken down or whatever. You know, you gotta you gotta freshen things up, you know. So that's how I look at it with with this fish with this fish keeping hobby. You know what I mean? You freshen it up, you upgrade, you change things up, you make things better. So everything I have will need to be in a bigger space. And then even the bigger space that I'm putting them in, you know, God willing, they're going to upgrade again. And then if God willing, they're going to upgrade again. I feel like when they are finally in the space that they deserve to be in, it's going to be something like a big, big pond that I could swim in. I mean, if it's salt, what do you think? I mean, a big in the ground saltwater recreation pond, big fish, eels. That sounds like the plan, right? That sounds like something that the fish deserve to have, right? You know? And so I feel like that would be the same thing for the fresh water. Indoor though. Indoor though. That's the that's the ticket. That's the difference with me. How I want it. I want that, but I want it indoor. Control. So that's the goal. That's the goal. We'll make it happen one day. God willing. Make it happen. But you know what? I believe that whenever I put my mind to something, I make it happen. So, yeah. That's all it takes. When there's a will, there's always a way. All right. That being said, this one is wiped down. Let's go ahead and spin you around and hit the other one. So look at the angles we got. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about man there man gotta have angles man gotta have angles all right Shane Walter yeah just like that I'm doing it like this from now on when it comes to cleaning it on or off the camera we doing it like this from now on this is the new way this is so easy now this right here i gotta this little scraper is terrible i gotta break off that last little last little chip last little tooth oh so these little potos over here is doing good Got some hang on it. I think I'd rather loop it back around though. And then I would rather go back in that water, stay up here. So I'll deal with that. Matter of fact, all I gotta do is just get it to touch a little water. If it touch the water, it's gonna start growing. I'll deal with that in a minute. So some of this algae is tough. And this tank, this brown algae is tough. I'll do a water change on this one as well. I feel like the nutrients are getting a little high in here. Now uh, y'all didn't even eat that pellet. No wonder it smells like that. I missed a couple of them. Yep, it's all good. Oh, there you go, came and got it. Good. Don't have to take it out. Still doing a water change on it. 
Yeah, uh, so I have this one I'll do. That 54 gallon got to be done again. It's empty. I don't have no fish in there. And, um, and I can't put fish in there. All the plants went in there and really fouled, fouled up the water with those plants. They just went in there and started decaying. So I want to do a very large water change on that. I mean like 80% type of water change on it. And then, um, then what I'll do, then do a gravel vac. I'll probably put some different rock in there or something like that just to give it a fresh new look because we're not doing that other mess anymore. And then I'll also, I need to get a new light for it. Yep, definitely gotta get a new light for that. Yeah, I know you can't really see how much is on this glass, but trust me, getting off all that. So I don't really, I don't know about you, if you care about the back of the glass, some, I used to, I think it depends on the tank, depends on what you have in there, and depends on the decor, you know what I mean? If, uh, if me cleaning the back of the glass would make the tank look a lot better because I had like light colored decor, white sand, things like that, then I'll do the back of the glass. But this dark decor, black background, Nah, I don't need to. Alright, yep. Definitely want to clean this one good because I'm even getting brown algae on the, on the substrate. That means that definitely high nutrients in the tank. Got to get that on out. And if you're wondering, I don't do, I don't test my water unless it's really a reason. If I'm looking for something, I'll test water. Other, to, other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't chase numbers. I let my fish, my fish is my fish behavior dictate my water quality because my fish are good with my water quality if there is an adjustment something is off i will know because all of my fish are tailored to my water parameters so when you chase these numbers they're very general they're not based upon your numbers every day of the week they're based upon your number supposed to be this so if this is this you know what i mean but if that's your thing i don't i don't have anything i don't have anything against it I think that is great either way, no matter what, you, the whole idea is to make sure your fish are healthy and uh, you know you keep them that way. So however you get that done, I'm glad you do it. If you don't do it, shame on you, shame on you. But you would know because you wouldn't have fish. They all be dead because you don't pay attention to nothing. But yeah, so, and that's not the case. I know y'all, if y'all watching my video, that's not the case. Y'all way too dope for that. Y'all definitely care about fish more than that. Y'all let a hobby just as much as I do in your own way. All right, so got that one done. That's it. Now just let me go ahead and uh, I'm not cleaning it no more than that. Uh, let me go ahead and grab The gravel vac, let's see what that, that's looking like. Eh, I could do it a little bit better. I could get it just a little bit better. Couldn't really see because the because the light wasn't on it, but whatever. Might not have come off. That's probably why. All right, so now, like I said, just going. One thing about these circulation pumps is that the suction to the side kind of sucks the suction does suck a little bit suction sucks not all of them and not always i think it's just like everything else you know you get a you get one that's that's messed up 
nothing's perfect nobody's perfect still think it's a very good pump but be aware that sometimes you have issues with the suction cup suction sucks so some of that brown algae that was on the front of the glass is bothering me and it is coming off so spending just a couple more seconds taking care of that okay and you know what my plants are ready to be watered anyway they've been thirsty so that was easy all right I might have to get all the way to the bottom. Whatever. Start with the top first. Now also clean these sponges because all this sand. There we go. Catching all that nasty grind, all that. That's because I took out those sponges. Good. That's what I'm talking about. So, just go ahead and get them a good shake. Real good shake. Squeeze them out all in the water. Try to get all that off as much as you can. Shake it out. Shake it out. I'll do it again, but so far, they're looking pretty good. That's that good food for the plants. That's that good plant food right there. Get down there for the gravel vat. It was looking bad. It was looking real bad. I feel like I need to get some more catfish. These three don't really do, they don't really do their job. So I'll probably get some more of those Pictus. Four line Pictus catfish. And yeah, I think it's gonna really help. Oh, snaps. Water got out everywhere. You know, that always happens, right? Stack that good short court. Put that sand back where it was. All right. Now hit this other side. You guys want to watch this? If you guys enjoy watching this portion of the videos, let me see how many people are going to say yes. You say no, then I know you don't. And I'm all, I'm all, I know I'm asking a lot of different questions in this video, but I'm trying to get a feel for what you guys or what you ladies in for what everybody prefer to see more of. You, you can't really see, huh? You wanna see better? Probably what you're saying. Let me bring you in close so you could actually see. Yeah, that damn garage. Glare. Huh. I can't close it, y'all. Can't close it because I got to go out there and dump this water. Maybe that's, there we go. That's, that's all right. That's close. But yeah, so. Like I was saying, all this brown algae that's on top. Look at all that. Look at that. 
Yeah, that's why. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. But yeah, so doing this every now and then, you see how it could be real relaxing and satisfying because I am satisfied every time I see a big cloud of that coming out. I'm always satisfied. Like, yes. Yes. Is that's that's what fouls up your water. That right there. And my tank don't have no smell. Surprisingly enough. I mean it doesn't you know, it's not dirty in that sense, it's not smelly, but definitely that right there will contribute to high nitrates. That's that's a fact. So getting it out will reduce nitrates. That's also a fact. Yes, we have beneficial bacteria inside of our aquariums to break down the load and, and help us with the nitrogen cycle, but you can't you can overload your beneficial bacteria if you allow your nitrates to get too high because you're not intervening and doing your water changes doing your gravel vacs you're not you're not uh, um, um, monitoring the amount of food that you feed or you know what i mean we have to work together with the beneficial bacteria to help us sustain a healthy aquarium they work with us we work with them if you don't understand that that relationship yet um, I hope that you could talk to a few other people and and uh, and uh, get educated on it then so we're almost done almost done getting that out been watching my hand this is my face like a bit that's the face that's how that's how I'm over here looking trying to get this done it's like once I start I can't stop because like I want to keep getting all of that and you do get it all so if you if you think that you don't that's bull you do once it's gone once it's really gone it's gone that's how I know that it's important to remove it otherwise you know, it'd be another reason why we're seeing that come up. But that's not the case. Just like right now, see, it's not as much. It's not as much. This is, what, 20 gallons? We're going to take out about maybe 60. We're going to do a 60 this time. They haven't done a 60-gallon water change on this, on this tank in a minute. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, finish grab a vacuuming and I'll be back with you when it's time to add in some more water. As you can see, the rocket is pretty dirty, so I want to make sure that I try to get it as clean as I possibly can. So I'm going to do that with this brush right here. Just, just brush it as much as I can. Let me set you up somewhere. Like I said, just, just get in there. If I had a pleco, the pleco would do this for me. I need to get a pleco for sure. Got to find one I like, though. I don't want just a regular pleco. I like the Titan. The Golden Nugget. And then I also like the green, the green phantom, the blue phantom. So something like that. And those aren't even the ones that's on the wish list. Right. 
A little better. A little better. I'm gonna do the rest of this. So look at that. Look where the dove eye is. Let's see if the buddy go back over there. <laughs> Never mind. And they're still not liking each other. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep that divider up. Like I said, once it's time to move them over, I think it'll be fine. Good thing they can't get through. But as you can see, the doe is doing a lot better. And they both have like 120 gallons of aquarium, so they're good. All right, so here's the, here's the filter pads right there, all clean. They're brown like that because that sand that's in there that I can't get out. And I actually don't care. It's serving as part of the filtration media. <laughs> anyway, and then Pothos doing good. Got the lava rock right there. But yeah, and then all the filter pads in between both of these baskets. I showed you how I did this. If, uh, if you want to make one of these for yourself, you should definitely check out that video. I plan on making a couple of more. Actually, I plan on making a few more. But I plan on putting one on the 125 on the bottom and up top. Probably on all the 125s, to be honest with you. I really like this system. It takes this one right here and it put it on some steroids and it beefs it up. So I plan on making two. So one right here and then one right there. So that's gonna be on the 150. We're gonna do two or three on the 125 on each. So, so stay tuned. So stay tuned because we might put three up here in place of these right here. I might just keep them since I got them, but might do something else with them. And then I plan on putting some more on this one right here. We need a ton of filtration. And we're gonna put it on these tanks. Look at this one. That boy look like it's busting at the seams. It's not, it's not gonna bust though, don't trip. It's not gonna bust. Got this other filter right here, trash can stuff, 44 gallons. Climbed into the 800 gallon pond. We got the other DIY sump right there on the 225. Got the other little butter tank refugium right there on the 225. Yeah, we uh DIY over here. This whole fish room was done by me from building these stands to building out the room. Definitely a DIY fish keeper. Shout out to Joey. Alright, so we almost done with this right here. Look at test out. I'll test for a nice yawn. Yeah, this one is looking so much better now. Let me see if I can back you up more. There we go. This one is looking so much better now. Electric Blue Texas right here. Fat. Red Tiger Moto. For those of you that want me to be politically correct, Red Tiger Moto. But I say Red Tiger Moto. We got Trippy right here. Watch when you turn around, you'll see why his name is Trippy. Watch his eye. Come on, Trip, turn around, show him. There we go. You don't want to show him, Trip? Yeah, come on, turn around, turn around. I right, just turn around now. This is why I call him Trippy right there. Look at that eye. Trippy, right? Yeah. Then we got the Managuins. Salvini. I'm about to move him on out soon because he's getting kind of kind of mean. I don't know where he's going to go, though. I don't know really to put him. This is a 125-gallon aquarium. Where does he go from here? He's a small fish. <laughs> and there's another dove eye in here somewhere. 
Where's uh, the little dove eye? Ch -ch -ch pan around, pan around, pan around. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. He's in here somewhere. Anyway, and then we got two sun cats. They look like they ready to get back into the same side of the tank together, huh? Don't they? Look at them. They look like they ready for me to remove the divider. Don't they look like they ready for me to remove the divider? They look like they want that divider out right now so they could just be friends again. Right, babe? They want to be friends again? Right, exactly. She, see? She knows how to play ball. But anyway, no, I'm not going to take the divider out. They look like they really want to tear each other's face off. So when I remove that divider, it's because I'm planning on taking out the buddy and I'm putting the buddy into this pond right here. And then the dope goes in. He needs to heal up 100% before he goes in here. But anyway, look at that. Man, that looks so good. Don't it though? That looks so dope. All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and finish. We're getting out this last 20 gallons. And then after I dump it, finish feeding the rest of my plants, I will be right back and we're going to be adding some water into this aquarium and finishing up this video. Let's do it. All right, we are finally at the stage of where we're refilling this tank. Took a little time, well worth it. Took out some rock work because the fish are getting a little big. Remind you, this is a 150 gallon aquarium, but they are getting a little big, especially the pike and the bass. So I want to make sure they have room to swim around. And now they do have room to swim around. Also, I really can't wait to get everybody out of here. So this is going to be my saltwater wall. We got the 225 and then, uh, you know, as you know, this, we're going to build this out to 1,800 gallons, 2,000 gallons. I'll do the measurements and see what's the biggest I could get right here without having to remove anything more than just these two aquariums and stands. I have that and already understand I have to move that. That's totally fine. But as long as it's just this, we're good. And I know the question is, what are we going to do with these? Well, I'm thinking this one right here, I'll probably put under it. Thinking this one right here, I'll probably put under it. Yeah, so I plan on having my, my plywood built. It's gonna be raised. It's gonna be elevated. And I plan on having all up under there. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be something like you've never seen before. Trust that. But anyway, uh, that could be, that could change. I know I, I got some, I don't know when it comes time to, to build this. I will be seeking some of your help. Got some real smart subscribers. You know, y'all really be helping me. So, uh, definitely. Um, in that area, because I, as you know, I have never built a plywood with a crayon before, but I think I could do it. I'm pretty sure I could do it, actually. I know I can. Um, but I want to do it a little bit different. Like I said, I want to have possibly these two aquariums under it, like a sump, you know? And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really what I'm shooting for. So hopefully I can make that work. We'll see. Anyway, this bad boy is almost done filling up. You ain't gotta wait on this. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, there we go. Let me get this thing. There we go. All done, cleaned out. Looking good. Just wanted to give you a nice good angle without the glare. That's why I'm holding it like that. But anyway. Anyway, 
that about wraps it up for this video i hope that you enjoyed it hope that you learned something i really appreciate you all for hanging around with me today on this beautiful saturday i'll get this video out to you guys so uh, it'll still be saturday and um man let's do this more often let's cut this light cut the lights back on you can't even really see my face so there we go. A little bit. Just a little bit better. Yeah, poquito. Anyway, could you see me? Huh? Uh, anyway, so, like I was saying, probably can't even see me any better. Anyway, but like I was saying, I appreciate you guys for sticking around with me, chilling with me on this beautiful night Saturday. I hope that you all have a safe, a healthy, happy amazing rest of your day rest of your weekend and if you haven't done so already <laughs> smack that subscribe button don't wait any longer as you can see I try to make the videos a little entertaining just because you know just because we're learning it don't always have to be boring but anyway hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload if you like the video everyone make sure you like the video it helps a lot like the video, please. Follow me over there on Instagram. Follow me over there on the Fish Corner. I mean, follow me on Instagram at the Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook, the Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, the Fish Corner. And until next time, guys. Peace.